We're a group of individuals who come together every Tuesday and sing. We come together because we love singing. You know, music is the thing that makes me joyful and brings me to tears. It's a really great group of people, so for me as a retired person, it's meeting a, a different group of people than I would normally do. You can come home from a hard day's work, feel absolutely exhausted, but when you go down to the first singing on Tuesday night, it's always very, gives you a lot of energy and you come away feeling so, so much better than just sitting home by the television. <laughs> Enjoy what you're doing. It's a very stress relieving, actually. It helped me through some rough patches after I've moved back to Australia. You meet a group of people with joy and love and uh, um, inspirations. And you can share your feelings and you can share music. You know, we've regularly done two concerts a year, which are always really satisfying for the choir to work towards that concert and to their family and friends come and we always have a beautiful supper and it's a great community of event you know in their lives and I've seen over the years like that real how satisfying it is for the group to um, you know to work towards something which was why I was I thought wouldn't it be great to do something that's even more challenging I guess it was Sarah's idea in the first place to make a CD and to concentrate on Australian songs um, did you think it was absurd to oh, us no. recording a CD? No, no, no. I mean, uh, we were a bit sort of amazed, you know, can we do this? Yeah, the first step for us was to go to a workshop that the council ran in terms of how to make your grant application and the sorts of things that they were looking for, the impact on the community and specifically Burundara. Community Grants Program is uh, provides funding uh, on an annual basis to strengthen the community, to give organisations an opportunity to try something new and to build connections between people and organisations at, at that grassroots level. We wrote the grant application. That was good because it you know, we really had to think about what, why were we doing it and how it would impact on the people that we were doing it with and what was the ultimate aim. Sarah is one of our parents, so Sarah came to talk to me, explained that she had applied for some funding, was very interested in having the children be part of this project as it was talking about community. It was an opportunity for the children to be involved. We had to start from the Aboriginal song because that's the beginning of Australia. You know, they're the first Australians and that's the first music and that's the first language. I think it's fantastic that she was able just to put together in a CD uh, original native songs that, that uh, for us as, uh, as uh, new Australians help us just to go back to the roots of this country that uh, sometimes is, is, is not uh, uh, easy accessible. So I thought that was a really cool experience as well. Yeah, you know, the Aboriginal culture, yeah, which as well. you don't come across, that, especially at our age, I don't think you don't come across that enough no, every day. But at the same time, we've sort of taken that, um, you know, the meaning of that song as the theme for the whole project of how to bring all of those songs from different 
you know, um, backgrounds and traditions together. So that it's a bit of a healing in music too, of the origins and the roots of people who are in Australia. And the fact that it's Australian music is great because it's a huge range of Australian music from some music in language, which we haven't done before, um, some, you know, colonial sea shanty type things through to uh, contemporary Australian good to sort of sing songs about Australia because the songs sort of tell um, our sort of culture and our our love of the land and what is uh, typical of Australian lifestyle and it tells a story of Australians and it tells a story of what people are feeling Well, the whole project's been really, um, really a big undertaking for a community group. And that's been really good, but it's been a lot of work, <laughs> um, particularly because of the CD recording, um, because it's involved, well, firstly, collecting fees from the choir members, because it's a fee-paying choir, um, but also keeping track of the budget for the CD, um, which is certainly gone over budget <laughs> um, in a lot of areas but we we're on track now which is great because the choir members have been um, selling cds to their friends buying cds themselves and we're in a pretty good position now because of that and our uh, concert it may well have been beyond our, our capacity of many of us but you grow and learn and uh, you know, things that you thought were rather difficult, the more you practice them, the more you listen to what's being said, um, the better it gets. The recording studio process is very uh, educational in that you go and hear yourself singing lots of rubbish and <laughs> go come home demoralised and then come back and keep going at it. But so, so I've learned a lot in terms of how I sing and uh, how I sound and the whole process, so it's been excellent, yeah. In the past we felt underprepared for the concerts because we would learn a whole new set of songs to sing each half year and often we didn't feel we knew them very well. But this year concentrating on one group of songs meant that we've had time to really perfect them and that's given us confidence. We're very, very proud of it, the fact that we've done this and we're very grateful for Sarah taking us on this journey. It's been wonderful. We've all got to know each other as a group. You're a really lovely group of people, all sorts of people, and you really grow to like them when you share something, a common objective. At the end of it, when we, we were finished and we were we thought it was all sound good and you know that was the end of it and everyone was just so elated and happy and we could all share that it's like it's a real team. By getting involved in making a CD and yes selling it uh, you're also doing something for your community it it, it enriches the community there's a ripple generally. a ripple effect you yeah. know we so not just us, but our families, our friends. There's that ripple effect that everybody is involved. Um, this is my sister and my other sister. Um, <laughs> and these are my three nieces. Four. 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 <laughs> Disowned one of and us. We've been, and we've been coming for years. And yes, they've been, been coming, coming to the... Oh, how long? Ten years. Ten, ten years. years. At least ten years. At least ten years. Whereas in the past we've perhaps had more traditional English type songs originally and then perhaps African type songs. Yes. Mm. This year it's actually tapped into that indigenous Australian culture. And it had an Australian feel. Yes. And for our family in particular yes. it had a mm. song about the Murray River yes. and that's where our family it comes, comes yes. from. Through the song my mum can learn many of uh, what Australian is and what's her history. Mm.
In the process we have connected with the Habitat Spiritual Centre and Uniting Church and Joan the Reverend wants us to come to one of their services and sing these songs. This is a beautiful place and it, you know it has meaning and I think there's a lot that goes on here that's about connecting with people so it just seems to be a really beautiful natural growing of you know of mm. the of the music. <laughs>